just ignore the weird vibe we've got going on in here at the minute. I've got some LED lights and let's just do... Jesus, right. That wasn't the vibe. I... Regardless, I'm going to show you guys how to make coins on the web app. Let's get into it. Just before we go any further, boys, if you do want to go and buy yourself any FIFA 22 coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Meal Factory and use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout to get yourself a discount. However, without further ado, let's get into this video. Boys, if you want to see a video just showing you how to trade in general on FIFA 22, just drop a like on this. A thousand likes in 24 hours. I'll get it up tomorrow. You know what to do, the boys. And make sure to subscribe with your notifications on because we're going to be doing loads of trading stuff, challenges, methods, everything that you need at the start of the game. This is the place where you want to be. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Two words. Entrepreneurship. So boys, first things first, we need to do this charade of the starter packs and everything like that. So when you come on with your starter packs, usually you want to be going for decent nations. You've probably already done this, but for future, England and French is usually your best bet. So I'm just going to go England for this one. This is what my starter team is looking like at the minute. It's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm just going to chuck a random one in. It really doesn't matter too much, does it? When you're picking your kits as well, try and pick kits that will sell for a decent amount. So Real Madrid, I've just got here. They're going to be perfect. They'll sell on really, really well. Is there anyone in this one as well? Got Preston and Plymouth, probably not. I think with this one, I want to go Benfica. The Portuguese Donnies, the Portuguese boys are going to be buying that one up. So when you first come on to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, you are going to be greeted with all these different packs, as you can see right here. So I think, you know what? Let's just open these packs. Just, just, just why the hell not? Let's just see what we've got in our first FIFA 22 pack. It's going to be a Cherby 83 rated. Now, the good thing with this is as well, these are all tradable. So anything that you get in the early stages, personally for me, I'd be selling it on just to bump up your coin amount as much as you can do because you could hold on to this, it could go up, it could go down, blah de blah blah but you need the coins now, so sell absolutely everything that you can do just to get some coins in the first sort of stages. It's free real estate. All right, next pack, next pack. Talk to me, what are we going to be getting from this next pack? Summit Decent, Summit Decent, Cragnord. Now, yeah. All right, like, come on, come on, come on. Third pack, give me someone big style. Glashy, that is actually a really, really decent one. Bundesliga goalkeeper, 85 rated as well. That's actually pretty decent. I'm interested to see how much that's actually going for. So if I just jump over to the transfer market, I should be able to find Galashi over here. He's currently selling for about 8K-ish. That's actually really good. Our final starter pack though. Let's have a look. Come on, give me a big one. Ah, Grimaldo. He's, he's okay. He's okay for the starter teams, but not really someone who I'm going to use. Let me take a look. How much are you going for, Grimaldo, at the minute? Like... 3k-ish. I reckon from all this stuff, we should have at least 20 to 30k. I'm going to go and get that stuff sold on. I'll jump back in in a little sec. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. So at this stage, boys, I've got 6,460 coins, and that's from selling on everything that I've just had. Now, you might look at some of these prices and be like, Lewis, what are you doing? You've sold them way too cheap. I need coins initially, and I think you should take this sort of attitude with it as well. I need coins initially, so I'm going to get coins initially, and if I don't make as much as I can do, then it is what it is. I'll make more coins later. So once you've sold up all your stuff here, I'm going to show you a really, really useful trick. If you just come over to Stadium, go over to your club and go over to your badge or go over to your kits, you can change over your badges and your kits. And this is something that you can do and you've been able to do for so, so long. So I'm just going to make this other one active. And then with this one that I've just changed from, this Real Madrid one, this is now tradable. And you can get some extra coins by doing this. And you can see that it might not be loads and loads, but it's definitely some nice coins initially, which is perfect for me. So this Real Madrid kit, I'll be able to get maybe two, three, four K in a couple of days. Benfica as well. I can just go over here, list on the transfer market and compare price. And it's the exact same thing. It just works the exact same. Benfica is currently going for like a K. If I wanted to sell it now, I could do, but probably hold on to him for just the tiniest bit longer. Now, once I've got a few more coins, the next thing for me to do is to start to do some trading. And obviously I'm going to be using the transfer market for this. Now on the web app, I think the main areas that you want to be going for is quick stuff just buying stuff selling it on as quick as you can do you don't want to be investing in stuff too much now i've seen a lot of people say you should invest in meta players wait for them to go up i think this is pretty bad advice mainly because people who are saying that are probably on a lot more coins than you and there's just one thing that you need to bear in mind and that's the 10 percent rule whenever you're trading only spend 10 percent of your coin amount because 
When you sell on something then, you get 5% for yourself and 5% as an EA tax. That's a tax that they take on everything. So say for example, you've got 10,000 coins, you should only spend 1,000 coins per trade don't be spending any more than that because you'll end up losing coins actually, which we don't want. So at this stage, what I'm gonna show you to do is to just do some silver trading. Now, the method that I am probably gonna be recommending mostly is silvers and then sort of finding your own filter, but I'll be showing you some gold ones as well later on in this video. So start off with silvers and for the league, I'm just gonna go for the Premier League and let's just find what the cheapest one from the Premier League is at the minute. As you'll be able to see instantly, silvers from the Premier League, they aren't cheap. They are not cheap at all. But the good thing is when stuff like this pops up really quickly, you can actually get it on a snipe. And this guy is currently selling for around 1.5k. So that's basically going to be the gist of this method. You can use silver, Premier League, top five leagues, top five nations. You can change it to absolutely anything. Premier League is probably what's going to be working the best at the minute. So what we need to do is just come over here, set this to 900 coins, search up on the market, and then we want to buy something. We've just missed out, unfortunately, an Elliot. Now, the way that you can snipe quicker on this is Press buy now and then press enter and it'll buy it as quick as you can. So then what we're going to do is going to back out, change something, come back in and then hopefully something else will pop up. But as you can see at the minute, there's only old stuff popping up, which isn't the best. We want the newest stuff possible listing up and you need to change a parameter because if you don't change the parameter, the new listings won't list up, which really isn't the best. And you might have to change min prices or whatever it may be to get certain stuff, but it is what it is. That's trading. So there we go boys, we've just managed to get ourselves a craft at 500 coins. We know that the absolute minimum is 1,000 coins, so we can at least sell for 1,000 coins. But if I go and compare his price, he's currently going for apparently 9,000 coins, which is absolutely bonkers. But for the sake of this, I want quick coins, so I'm just going to put in 1,000 coins for this and set that to 950. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing with these silver filters. You can use pretty much anything. You can go, I don't know, let's try another look at midfielders, for example. What are midfielders saying at the minute? Midfielders are probably about 500 coins roughly. So if we can get them at absolute bottom price, that'd be sick. I don't know if we can do. We might get pretty lucky with this one. I doubt it, but I'm going to try. Okay, so we've just got ourselves a comma bell player, which... I'm not 100% sure that that was the best buy, but his next one up is 1,500 and he was up for two minutes, which isn't the best, but we can list this one on at say 900 coins and this is exactly how these methods work. It really is as simple as finding a really general filter, sniping and making bank. So let's jump into the next method that you can use. So the next method is gonna be really similar, but it actually is gonna be using golds instead of silvers. Silvers, you're probably gonna get more. Golds are probably okay as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to gold and then we need to set up a sniping filter. So in this instance, I am going to make up an absolutely random one. Let's go for gold, I don't know, midfielders, nationality. Brazil was the first one that came to me then. All right, let's just take a look, see what the gold Brazilian midfielders are currently going for. These are currently selling for around 650 because of the gold common. So we need to make this more sparse and make the filter a bit better. So let's go over to the rarity and say it to rare instead. What a gold Brazilian midfield is saying. Okay, so these are going at the minute for about a thousand coins roughly. Again, everyone's opening the packs at the minute. So maybe if I set this to like 800 coins, I can see Rafinha there at 700 and I've just missed out on it. But you can see immediately how these methods work and how you can make coins. You just need to Come up with your own filters. That's the best thing that I can recommend. And then try and get deals like this. So Rafinha, 800 coins. I've just seen him selling at 1,000 coins. And I'll do exactly that. I make on that about 150 coins, which is perfect. BMW, BMW, BMW. So I'm just going to show you again how you can use this. Let's go to, I don't know, let's make it a tiny bit more sparse. Let's go gold left backs rare nationality English. I've known this one to be decent in the past. Maybe it's still decent now. Yeah, this one's going to be really, really good as well. So currently at the minute, gold left back English is currently selling for 3,000 coins. So what we need to do again is put this down to like 2.6, something like that, and then just snipe around this. And maybe we'll be able to get fairly lucky with this. As you can see at the minute, it's not looking too bad, so I'll be back in a little sec just as soon as I've got myself a deal on this just to show you exactly how it works. 
So there we go. Just got ourselves a Luke Shaw at 2.6k. He is currently selling for around 3,000 coins. Yeah, there we go. Just over 3,000 coins. And this is exactly how you can build your coins up by using sniping filters on the web app. Sniping on the web app is really, really easy. So if we come over here and go to our unassigned items, there he is, 2.6k. I can list this one up at, say, 3,200 and make a spicy little profit. The good thing as well is if we come over to the transfer list, you will be able to see that Shaw has instantly sold on, which is perfect. So Kraft has sold on and we are waiting for some of the other ones to sell on. But boys, that is going to be the end of this video. That is how I am currently trading on the web app and how I'm going to be trading on the web app for the rest of the evening. My goal initially is to go for 50,000 coins and then I just want to keep building up and up and up. So boys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on it. It would be very much appreciated. Apologies that it's a bit ghetto this way, like I'm not an EA play and stuff like that. My capture card has just had an absolute mer. Allow me, boys. If you've enjoyed this video, though, make sure to click here or here or somewhere for a new FIFA 22 video. But, boys, 26, Lewis, and I am off. Oosh.